All righty. You're going to take it easy, right? Whatever you want, you're just going to tell me. You want a book, you want a magazine, you want a Look, remote I know, control. I know you told Ava that you would sit with me, but you really don't have to do that. The doctor said take it easy, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to stay calm, okay? All right, so there's nothing I can say to get you to go. Well, no, there's nothing you can say. So like I said, you want a, Thank you. a book, uh, you want a trashy magazine, you want Yay, ice coffee? that sounds good, but okay. I'm going to get my pajamas first, so. All right. Um, yes. Where are your pajamas? <laughs> my room. I knew it. I knew I would find you here. Honey. Huh? No, it's not, it's, not what you, it's not what you think. No, here's what I think. I think that you ruined my wedding. I also think that you have your sights set on the one Spalding man you haven't had yet. Uh, baby. What do you have to say about this? What possible explanation could you have for being here? The night before a wedding? You're here with her? Again? And what was the little errand that you had to run? Oh, is this your, is this your bachelor party? Is that what this is? This is your last bachelor fling with the town whore? Stop it. Just tell her. Tell her or I will. No, you don't have to tell no. anybody. No, remember you when you found me on the floor? Oh, please don't, don't do the Philip thing again because I don't believe for one second he knocked you out. You don't know anything about that. But I was on the floor for a reason, okay? I'm dying. I had no intention of telling Gus about my heart condition, okay? He just happened to be here at my lowest point when I was diagnosed, and I was scared. And all I could think about was protecting Emma, because the idea of Philip ever getting his hands on her... See, she doesn't have anybody else, and the truth is I, I volunteered myself. I made him swear not to tell anyone, okay? So that's, that's my fault. And I know it must have been strange to see us hanging out so much together, especially when you're, you're planning your wedding. It's just that I was really terrified. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call over to Cedars. They had those nurses that, uh, you know, tend to people for 24 uh, hours a day, do seven do days that. a week. Why? Listen, I'm, gonna, I'm sure that you hate me for not telling you. But when she got called to the hospital like that, you know, emergency, she doesn't have anybody in the family that knows I'm the only one, so she's not supposed to be alone. So what am I, what I'm am I? Just, okay, I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. I just, I understand, you know, single mother. I was a single mother. I was alone from the moment Rafe was born and in the hospital and yeah. sick. See, I should have, I should have, I should have been I'm that not saying, No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that I get it. Being alone is awful, and being scared, you know, you're, you're being the adult and you're taking care of a child and all you really want is someone to take care of you and make you feel better. You're not alone, Olivia. I, we'll help you. What about uh, us getting married? We'll get married. We have time. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for everything that you're going through. 